Hello ladies and gentlemen, Keaton here and welcome to Paint It Back. This is a hard to describe this game actually. So the best way I think I can describe this is for anyone who may have played this game, it's pretty much Picross. Um, to put it another way, it's sort of a take on like Minesweeper where numbers dictate where squares end up. Anyway, you'll see that in a second. I just wanted to get that elephant out of the room uh, because I am actually really excited to play this because I'm actually a fan of this type of puzzle game. I'm not even sure what you classify it as. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to check this one out. And um, in case you're worried that this might just be a straight up ripoff of Picross, I don't think so because based on the preview screenshots on the Steam store, it seems like it's going to throw a monkey wrench in there or two in the more advanced levels, which uh, we'll probably not get to today, but I am pretty excited to hopefully see in the future. But uh, yeah, so actually before we start the game, <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of backstory here, and I'm only mentioning this because I can't actually get back to play it for you guys. So basically the story of this game is a ghost wanders into this artist's uh, museum of paintings and accidentally scares all the paintings away. So the painter has to employ the drawing prowess of the player to redraw and repaint all of his art back to life. And that is where we begin painted back. I've done the very first level because it was very, very basic, taught you the very basics, and it's going to be easier to cover in the next bit anyway. So let us begin with Sunrise at the Beach. Let's paint it. All right. So before we start, we continue with this, as you can see here that we have numbers. Now these numbers correlate to the blocks. Now uh, let's take this first grid here or this first number here. So two is good. There's going to be a two somewhere here. Two blocks will be filled. I think side by side. That's usually the rule that at least that's Picross's rule. Now let's talk. Let's see what the, the lovely artiste here has to say about uh, the the, the skills that you shall need to repaint his lovely masterpieces. <laughs> Ahem. The key to being a good artist. I apologize in, in advance for my horrible voice acting here. It's figuring out which squares to paint. These numbers tell you how many squares to paint. I don't even know what accent I'm going for here right now. This says paint two connected squares in this row but you don't know which two squares to paint. Let's find something we can paint without guessing. There's no guessing how to paint this column. So yeah, one, two, three. Oh, I can hold it, good. Four, five. I know how to come to five, shush. This is five turns gray. This five turns gray because five squares are painted in the column. Now paint this column, yes. So because we've painted two columns, that also takes out the two. Yeah, okay. Hey, check out what happened back here in this row. That's the two unknown squares got painted. He says it much better than I can. Paint these rows, yes. There we go. Oh yeah, and that takes care of everything. So it's pretty a basic concept. You just have to make sure that you paint by the numbers, literally. <laughs> And it's going to be very basic at the start here, but as it keeps going on, I'm hoping that it gets pretty crazy with the actual numbers. And again, there is that monkey wrench I talked about, which we probably won't see, but you know, it'll be interesting to uh, see how they introduce that. The square is either painted or blank. No squares need painting in this column. Let's just let's cross these squares out. Okay. Now we want to accidentally paint those squares. Plus, now we can see which squares to paint in this row. Can you finish this piece from here? Yes. I'll lend a hand if you make a mistake. I can do this. Easy peasy. He said before he screwed up majorly. Never mind. There we go. This is a Frankenstein. Yeah. So th the reason I like this sort of puzzle is because it sort of melds two things I really like, and one is puzzles, and the other is pixel art, and I, I really like both of them put together. And again, like when you get to the advanced stuff, it really makes your brain think about, okay, how can I fit the numbers into, you know, the grid to satisfy all the conditions? And it's really cool. It's really fun in my opinion. Let's do this before the, uh, oh, okay, I'm doing this column first, okay. See how the number, yeah, yeah, yep. 
this is pretty this is pretty logical stuff since that number is there we can just cross it out thank god there's right click painting is 100 percent correct so far okay your painting will remain 100 percent correct if you're going to continue painting only what you know to be true all right cool so okay so the four here so we can knock that out because three cannot reach that far four here as well so we can knock that out three here and five there that was way easy that looks like poop what is that it's kind of like poop on water oh it's a volcano <laughs> yep kind of looks like poop can't can't blame me for look, it look might look like poop all right so i like that it's like logical kind of ideas where you got okay you got to satisfy this this and this and this and at the end of the uh, the whole puzzle you get a nice little pixel art so it's pretty fun okay one of these choices yeah okay i kind of already went through this on the uh right great for each guess yeah so don't guess you can never trust a guess of course you need logic this is a good place to start painting of course it is these all satisfy the complete blockage you can just do that Oh, okay, 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 I'll follow your tutorial game. Yeah, so I can just knock those out. Yep, I already went over this. I'm accidentally going ahead of the game. I apologize. Again, I'm a, I'm a big fan of these types of games, so... Hey, yeah. achievement! Woohoo! Is that a piñata? No, it's a girl with a ponytail. That's a horrific looking... That looks like a camo, not a girl. <laughs> all right new achievement yes oh look at all those badges i am going to be so blingy demonstrate some artistic ability damn skippy all right high heel am i on my own yet this one has two numbers yep i'll paint it and explain oh, okay this is how it's gonna go so as you can see you're going to start getting multiple numbers and so then, again, the logic sort of expands from there. So it's paying three connected squares, okay. Leave one or more squares blank, yep. Then paint one square to satisfy both numbers. And you always read from right, I mean left to right. Or right to left if you're in Japan, come on now. <laughs> you take it from here, okay. We can pretty much do the same thing there. You can do that there because that's all filled. You can knock out these because uh, two, three here, and four. Bada bing, bada boom, just like that, a beautiful high heel for some lucky lady, or man, you know, whatever, whatever is your choice of footwear, just don't play those when you're doing sports, I'm sure you get like a major blister or so, probably break your ankle, okay, this is the last picture in the training hall, hmm, I don't see any obvious place to start painting, but you still wouldn't, shouldn't guess where to paint, let's find something we're sure about, there are two possible ways to paint this column. Yep, so you go in between. Both possibilities contain these three squares. So these three squares definitely need painting. Mm hmm And you can safely cross out the other squares in this row. Yep. This should get you started. I will not be helping you finish this painting. But you can check out how to play for more painting tips. Aha. Okay, cool. I can knock that out because those can't satisfy the condition. I can do that. And that. Four. Now this is interesting. I can knock out that. Two. I can knock out that because a two can't go there. That, excuse me, mouse. Okay. Four. Okay. I can knock these out. Two. Knock that out. That's been done. And bada bing, bada boom. We got a birdie. Ostrich. Oh yeah. Look at that pretty bird. We did that with logic. Yeah. Now I know I'm getting a little, you know. <laughs> I'm getting a little overconfident here. I'm going to definitely make a mistake at some point. Either because of overconfidence or because I just miss it completely. Um, so yeah, just expect that. Oh, hello. You're a living painting. Okay, cool. All right, skinny Santa. I like the theme already. All right. So we can do a five here. Five here. Knocks out pretty much everything. So there's a one here, so that needs to do that, and then that. Really? That was Skinny Santa? This is more like Skinny Santa's legs. Or Santa's legs in, in general, maybe? Maybe he skips leg day, so that's why he has skinny legs? You never know with Santa. I mean, he, sit, he sits on a sleigh, you know, so... 
you know the matchsticks Mia, Milo, and Mitch left to right. Okay. Ooh, they're blank. All right, knock that out. And since this is a one, we need to just pop those. Actually, there we go. And that, and that, and that. Oh. And that, and that. Boom. Those are matchsticks, for sure. <laughs> or it could be smokestacks. Blades of grass. So many things with your imagination, you know. All right. Calisthenics with Farmer Joe. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Knocked out. All of that. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's out. Interesting. Probably shouldn't do it this way, but this is pre pretty logical right there. Yeah, it's Farmer Joe. Could be a star too. Never know. All right, moving on. Sweet, I qualified for the next room. We're gonna finish this room up. We're gonna paint it so good. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, here we go. Four, one, one, two. Boom, boom. Yes. Knock that out. Knock. Put that there. You can fill this up. Yes. Oh, oh. My mouse is going. The, it, it, it's re reacting properly. It's just my mouse is really just going to hell. All right, there you go. Sweet. Someone's sitting at their computer or TV, enjoying a nice YouTube video, possibly. Now, don't 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 read that. It says portrait of a guy watching an awesome YouTube video. Actually, it should be portrait portrait of an awesome person watching this YouTube video. Congratulations, you viewer, for being so awesome. They just mis mistyped it. That's it. All right, moving on. Pony close-up. I should actually probably not read the title because that sort of gives away what I'm drawing. And the fact that they give you a preview up here makes it that much easier. All right, knock that out. Okay, we can do that because three somehow fits in there. And of course, the five anyway, so there goes my chance to try and look smart cut that out put this down that means two's up there two's up there and three's up there and four and three there we go that's a lovely pony ride that pony yeah it's kind of a freaky looking pony actually man versus duck hmm Change one letter in that, you get a totally different thing. Oh, there's six, six spaces. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I made a mistake. Made a mistake. No undo. There's no undo. Oh, just re-click on it. It, it. There's no right click on it. Okay. Okay. This is actually full. Oops. There you go. Two there. Three there. Satisfies that. Put that there. Satisfies that. That's done. Six is all full. And there we go. Person looking at a duck. Yeah, man versus duck. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting the title anyway, so it's really no problem that I read it because I immediately forget it when I jump into the painting. <laughs> so it's pretty it's, it's pretty self-explanatory so far, I think. It's, it's, it's very logic based, you know, you just got to think about it a bit and then, you know, it sort of just, you know, works itself out. Currently, we've drawn a penis. Hooray for us. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty easy, like one, two, one, as you can see, four. It can be either way right now, but we'll look up here and we have the one, 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 and it satisfies everything anyway. Sweet. Really cool. Really good. So I guess because I'll probably not get to it in this session, the the nice little twist that I think that the game's gonna pull on you is eventually you get into multiple grids. So you have multiple types of grids like this as the pictures get larger, you know, and the puzzles get more and more complicated. But the thing is, it starts to break the rules of having like three and one space and then a one. It seems like they throw a monkey wrench in there where they say, actually, a three and a one can actually be close together if the two grids touch, you know, so the rule seems to change based on the overall picture versus the small grid. 
if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't, but, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so four, yeah, so four works there. And because of that, we can actually just do four, one. Uh, three, one probably works out here somewhere. Four, because it's, it's on this side of the half, actually doesn't matter. We take care of the one, get the twos. We can knock all this out because the threes can be satisfied. Uh, threes can do that. It's pretty much the mirror. And, uh, yep, that's a three. Take all this out. Three. Actually, this is a four six. Should have saw that earlier. Okay. So what do we have left here? Four is satisfied there. So one, one, done. Knock that out. Get that there. That means that's a one. That's a three. That's a four. Three, and there we go. Lovely pumpkin. Almost in time for Halloween. Very festive, very, very on point. <laughs> okay, we qualified for another room and we're just on the second room, so doing good. This is the, this is, aha, here we go. So we're seeing multiple grids. I don't know if it's actually implemented yet. Two, three, four, yeah, we have eight. So we can do that much. We can get, you know, six going. Seven might be up here, seven might be down here. We don't know. Actually, we do because these are full eights and those are done. This is done. You can cross that out. That's obviously going to be a three. And then we can see that. And then all of that is gone. Yeah. All of that. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, that has to be. Hold on. How does that work? Why did I do that? I, I went too quick, too fast. Too silly. Uh-oh. There we go. I told you I was going to make a mistake eventually. And I am. There we go. That makes sense. And, uh... There. There we go. Siamese twins. Yeah. <laughs> conjoined twins. Sorry. Uh, conjoined twins. <laughs> the politically correct way to say it. My bad. <laughs> there we go. Finished another room. Alright. Let's just hop in into the next one and check out what else is on for the uh, for the next room. Let's see how much more complicated it can get. Oh, we're back to uh, regulars. Okay. Maybe a little more difficult in concept. We'll see. Not so far. Uh, doot, doot. And uh, a doop, 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 doop. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. There, there, and there, and there. Got a turkey. Yeah. All right. Sweet. All right. Let's do a couple of more. Couple of more. <laughs> I'm a painter, not a, not a person who can speak well. We'll do a couple more and see if we can get any more interesting puzzles. If not, we'll just call it there. And you guys can actually, you know, check it out for yourself if you want to see some of the more crazier puzzles that I'm sure, hopefully, the game has. Well, that's a nice little pony running in the water. You're free to do what you will. Crossing the Rio Grande is very specific. All right, a six by six. All right. There we go. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Knocking it out of the park immediately. Getting so well because they're so generous with these marks. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that was simple, man. That was super sized seed. Super sized seed. Not surprise seed. I think I called it surprise seed earlier. I'm a fool. I'm an artist. I don't need to read. Thank you. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Nope. Nope. Oh, wait. Actually, that's right. There we go. And that. And uh, that a Rooney. And that and that. Yeah, yo. And another achievement? Is that a duck's butt? We're looking at a duck's butt. 
Technically, that could probably be a duck's butt. All right. All right, so we got a new achievement. I think that's a good way for us to uh, call it. I didn't get to get to any more of the, uh, the crazier puzzles, but I'm gonna hop back to the menu here. So we can look ahead. Ooh, there are actually a lot of levels here. Oh, there are a lot of levels. Holy moly, look at that. And mastery, ma oh, mystery masterpiece. Or mastery masterpiece, you never know. Masters of the Masters, you know. Damn, that's a lot of levels. So yeah, there's a lot here to uh, to check out for yourself. I'm only on the three, level three of many. So yeah, there's a lot of content here. Um, I do believe... Now, this was the Steam version, obviously, but I do believe that this is also on mobile. So yeah, if you want to actually get this on the go, go ahead and check it out on mobile. But if not, you can check out the game on Steam at the link in the description below. And yeah, I highly recommend you guys check it out for yourself. I dig these puzzles a lot, so I'm obviously going to have a rocking time with this on my own. And I, I highly recommend it to anybody who finds the same joy in these types of puzzles as well. The one thing I did want to finish up on is if by some chance that the developers see this or if you guys want to help me get the word out to developers, you know, I think this is like the first time a, a PC version of this type of puzzle game is like available. I can't remember ever seeing this type of puzzle game done on the PC before. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Uh, I really don't know what you call this type of puzzle, but I would really love if the developers would continue to support this game and maybe add like workshop support to it. It would be really cool to see uh, if fans could create their own level packs or, or some some sort of extra content for the game to keep it going, you know. Um, obviously, people are going to draw penises and boobies, but if there's maybe a way we can filter those out or something, some kind of a curation or some kind of thing where we can get like user created content that would be awesome but if not you know there are a lot of puzzles obviously as you saw so there's a lot of good base content there to, i'm just saying it would be cool if they would continue support for this game and you know add more functionality in the future but i dig it for the product that it currently is now um and yeah again i highly recommend it to anyone who who digs games like picross because this is definitely a game just like it and i'm really i'm really happy for that i'm really excited for that and you know i want to see more of it Anyway, I've been gushing long enough. Be sure to check it out for yourself. Again, link to the game is in the description below. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!